Here we are again, welcome to the channel. Brian, ZL3 XDG, just out in the, uh, out in the garden here a wee, a wee minute. So what, um, what we're looking at uh, today is just a wee project I've been working on lately, which is um, noise on verticals, noise on verticals. Yeah, we all know uh, verticals are a good transmitting antenna, but yeah, they are quite noisy. And um, just, um, if I can get it in a picture somewhere here behind me, just behind me here, over my shoulder is my 40 metre, 40 metre vertical. And uh, yeah, it radiates, uh, transmits very well indeed, no problems with that. But some days, yeah, it is quite noisy. And as we know, the uh, the main reason for that is general noise around the area, etc., etc., is more vertical than horizontal. So, what we've been uh, doing is experimenting. So we've been experimenting with a horizontal dipole, and the way dogs come to give us a hand by the looks of it. So what we've done basically is um, we've got a wee mast through here. We've got a wee mast just fastened to um, to a post here, and a bit of a pole going up. And uh, just up here at the top, somewhere up there, up there, we've got the centre of a forty metre dipole. And um, so. Uh, come out in the open a wee bit so the centre of the uh, of the dipole is just through the trees there so what I've actually been experimenting doing is finding um, been experimenting trying to find a height for the dipole where I still get a decent signal um, receive a decent signal but the noise level uh, drops right away down <clears throat> so, what I've done here, and the, um, I'll just show you here a second. Try to try to point out the dipole. You can hardly see it actually. It's one of these. Um, it it comes off the top of the mast up there, and I, I don't no, I don't think you can see the wire. Uh, the wire just goes along here. Uh, it's actually just attached to the um, to the tree there. And it basically, it's just sat in the hedge. That's the basic idea. So what we've been doing is, as I say, we've been trying to find a height of the dipole where I still get a reasonable um, signal strength from stations, as 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 I as I would on the on the vertical. But the vertical picks all the noise up, so. With the uh, horizontal dipole, I started off with the centre of the dipole up at uh, six metres. I think it was six or seven metres. Six metres, six metres, and I kept it. Um, I kept it as horizontal as I could. I had, um, no, no, no sloping, um, no sloping sides to it or anything. Try to generate as much horizontal receive as possible. Um, so up at six metres, there was still quite a bit of noise. Um, so, cut a long story short, um, I've slowly brought the centre um, feed point of the um, of the forty metre dipole down in in uh, small increments until I've got to um, where I am now, which is um, I think now it's a it's about two two and a half metres high at the centre feed point. And it's horizontal. The antenna either side, either end is also two, two and a half meters high. And I found at that for me, for me, this is as I say, this is there uh, for me. Um, for me, at two and a half meters, that is, I found is a perfect spot where I get a good signal reception. Still, um, I will do a, a wee little demonstration of uh, looking on the radio in a minute. 
Um, you won't actually see the S-meter jump jumping around very much because I do have the RF gain um, turned down quite a bit. But generally I found at two and a half meters the noise level is very very low um, compared to uh, the vertical and the signal, st the signal st strength is, uh, is still there. Apart from the old wagon wheel, that's the, uh, the 40 meter vertical going up in the, up in the sky there. And that has, um, I think at the moment, it's got about 310 meter long radials on it. Um, that was only, that was only, um, I could only do that because at the time, um, what you see on the ground here, none of this was here, it was open space. So what I did, I just, um, the, the base of the, um, I've got a few new radials just laid on the top, but the, originally the base of the, um, of the vertical, I could take um, 300, um, 310 meter long radials out and around in a, in a big circle. Not, none of this shed or anything, just the fence, nothing was here. So I could put it all on the top, all on the ground. And then the lawn went over the top and the gravel went over the top. And every now and again, I replace so many of them. So that's um, that's the basic of it. And as I, as I say, I'll show you a couple of excerpts off the radio, and you can see the difference in the noise level. And um, you know, for anybody that's got a got a vertical or got a bit of a um, you know a bit of a tree line or a fence line, you can just put a just put a dipole on the top. Um, I did actually tried. Um, transmitting on the dipole when it was up at six meters originally compared it to the um to the to the vertical um where's the vertical gone again over there somewhere and um a huge difference huge difference nearly uh, at least three s points down on the on the uh on the horizontal uh, dipole on transmit here compared to the vertical it's uh, yeah, horizontal antennas just uh, just don't work. But the old, uh, the vertical there, and um, and as we know, just through the trees. We'll just have a quick look. Um, just through the trees is the is the um, here um, quarks right in front of me. This is the the the, the twenty meter two element uh, one here, um, and another one here two element um, elevated vertical parasitic uh, beam firing a long path which works absolutely fantastic as a previous video showed all that information literally two poles stick them in a tree off you go <laughs> uh, just done the garden so they're looking fairly fairly neat at the, at the moment Dog's always trying to dig something up for me. <laughs> so there we'll go. We'll go inside and um, we'll go inside and um, put the radio on, and I'll just switch between the vertical and uh, and the way um, horizontal dipole, and you can see the difference. It works for me. Works really well for me. I think I'm really pleased with it, considering it's just stuck in a tree. Nothing too flush around here. <laughs> um, this is actually just behind me. Here is the. Um, uh, where are we looking here? This is the, uh, which was our woodshed um, for the winter, so we'll stack the firewood in the meantime. Um, we've got an old, um, an old uh, horse wheel, cart horse wheel for an end stop, which works very well. Right, let's go and look on the uh, on the radio here. Yeah. Thank you. 
shocker last night, wasn't it, Liz? Absolute shocker. Um, all right. Well, um, I've just discovered that the home brew machine has run out of beer. So I've had to um, grab a can that was given to me as a gift amongst a few others in the same box by Double Vision Brewery. And uh, it's called Mad Eye. And it's a hazy triple IPA. <laughs> Thank you.